Good morning, my wrestling heroes. We got an awesome play set for you today, as well as five packages. We're gonna get it all unboxed. This I found on eBay. I actually found it for a really, really good price, and I had to pull the trigger. I mean, this is dating back to the beginning. The beginning of what? Not the beginning of WWE figures, but the beginning of when I actually, when my parents bought my very first play set, and this was it. My brother did have the retro ring, but I can tell you this, man, the guy barely ever let me play with it, man. <laughs> This, yeah, I think it's about 100% complete, maybe 99. There might be one or two things missing, maybe like a sticker. But I think if you were to ask me, at least from the description, it did say that this came with everything. It comes with the uh, twin catapults for launching. You can launch your opponents. And I don't know why they put that in there. I think that's to really just go all out with your playset, right? <laughs> I don't ever remember them having that in the actual ring. Right here, they do have an actual, uh, it's like an authentic style steel cage. And this, this is the one cool thing about this. And this actually... Actually, I can't tell you how much nostalgia this is bringing back. If you look right down the top, it does have a handle. I actually remember. I remember taking this over to my friend's house. I'll show you the back real quick. Um, I remember carrying this around to my friend's house, like on the weekends when we would do like sleepovers or whatever. Be like, bro, don't forget your ring. I won't, man. <laughs> Oh, this is so cool on the back. Look at this. These are all the collections from back in the day. You got, uh, looks like Mark Mero, Jeff Jarrett, early Triple H, Mark Henry. You even got Kane over here. Dude love. And right here, so many cool accessories. That's one thing that I loved about Jax. Like with these bone crunching, that's what they were. These were bone crunching figures. They went crazy with the accessories. I mean, they had this coffin right there. Like, oh man, I don't have that anymore. But when I did, I, I can't tell you how many good hours of play time I got with that. There's a trash can. Uh, there's just a lot. <laughs> there's so much going on in the back right here. On the bottom, it is showing you the assembly. Let's get it out. Let's dump this out. I did open up. I, I kind of had to peek in there. I'm sorry, but I just couldn't wait to get this thing going for you guys. So uh, the uh, ring right here this is the this is very similar the one thing that you're gonna notice and at least from what I can remember again this is dating back to 98 maybe 99 this is a very very old accessory set I think that's it pretty sure that's it um they are very reminiscent to the actual, like, the ones that we saw back with, uh, well, actually, the basics. The basic rings nowadays, the style of it, how they have it, but the, and I'll show you what I mean. It's kind of like a carrying case. If you turn it right here to the side, you pop this open, there's like a little tiny, uh, hinge right there you pull that and that's where you can store like your turnbuckles your ropes and i don't know how well it'll open i'm so afraid of breaking this i'm telling you this thing is about 20 years old so once you open it up that's where you can store all of your accessories i don't remember me uh carrying these catapults i think i just left them at home but i put a lot of my figures in here again it's a great carrying case almost similar to the money i'll show you the catapult real quick uh we'll yeah we'll get some playability we'll do it on the video <laughs> I'll show you, we'll recreate some of the great memories that Hero Figs used to have back in the day. So as you can see right there, it's got the old WWF logo. The detail on this, it is there. It's almost kind of like steel steps. That's kind of like what you're seeing right there. And all you do is that you pull this lever, and they'll go flying, dude. They'll go at least, I don't know, at least a good five feet. I mean, if you push down hard enough, you, you can, you're going to definitely get some good flight with it. Here's the next one right here. Again, you get two of them. So if you want to have them, like, come crash and meet each other in the middle, oh, yeah, you can do that. <laughs> so here's the catapult. Here's the second catapult. Again, same logo design. You just hit that, and it's probably, I don't know, a good seven, maybe... Uh, eight inches tall, so it, it's a pretty good scale. So let's get this thing put together. Here's the turnbuckles. The turnbuckles, I don't know how difficult it'll be. I mean, again, <laughs> it's been 20 years and I had to, you guys. The, okay, base, the whole thing that got this going, the whole thing that sparked this interest, um, I started displaying, I found some of my old figures. Uh, I, there was about two or three that I had found in an old bin. And that's kind of what got things going. I was like, I started putting it on the shelf. I'm like, oh man, <laughs> we, we need to recreate. And the cool thing about these two is that they are extremely cheap. I mean, if you go on eBay, a lot of these figures are around like five bucks, five bucks shipped. And when I was young, I'm like, man, I should probably hang on to these because they'll probably hold their value. They didn't. <laughs> they went down in value pretty quick. Uh, you know, once Mattel, once once Jack started putting out like the next lineup after the bone crunching, yeah, these were basically, these were old news. I mean, the detail on these, it, it oh, geez, it, you're, you're about to find it. You're about to see what I'm talking about. And that's basically it. That's basically the assembly of it all. Um, you just connect all four. And again, the for the ropes right here, you just clip it under the turnbuckle right there. You see how it clips under? And it'll just, yeah, it'll stay on there pretty good. The bottom rope, it looks like the bottom, no, the middle rope. It looks like the middle rope is the only one that we really have to mess around with. So there it is. 
here is the ring itself. So in scale, again, this is again very s similar to like the the same size scale as your regular basic ring. On the side right here for the decal, it's got WWF uh, attitude, and on the middle right there, it looks like the guy that put the sticker on there. At least how they advertise it, it should be more like straight. But it looks like whoever put it on, I'm not, I'm not gonna pull that off. <laughs> I don't care how you put it on there. It's just seeing. Oh my gosh, you guys! I can't tell you how much like good memories this thing is bringing back. So now that we got that assembled, here is the cage. Um, the World Wrestling Federation. And the way that this goes on, I think he said one of these clips might be broken off. Um, actually, the cage is not that tall. This is, I remember this being a lot taller, maybe because I was what, maybe about four feet tall when I was playing with this. <laughs> Okay, see, it is the corner. This is what I meant about 98% complete. Looks like the bottom of it, it is broken right there. But I'll show you. Um, I'll show you. I don't think I'll be able to put on that piece, so we're going to put that aside real quick. This right here, it just clips onto the corner of the posts, and I think the World Wrestling Federation logo should actually be facing out. And I think that's how it's going to stay in. So afraid of breaking this cage, man. I think having these cage, or having the cage included with this, it's, yeah, oh man, the plastic too. You can tell it, it's, it's definitely brittle. But I'll just put this on the back right here so you can kind of see if, uh, what I'm talking about, of how, what it's going to look like. And on the top right there, it's got the same similar clips that the Hell in a Cell does. You just clip that on and they'll all go on there. Um, this one right here, it looks like this one has broken off. See, I'm telling you, a lot of these parts are already broken. I don't know how he had it displayed because when he had it listed on the listing, on the eBay listing, it was actually still connected. I don't think mine will connect because I think two, maybe even three out of these are actually broken so we'll put this aside i just wanted you guys to get an idea of what the actual like steel cage looks like around it so now that we got that now that we got that all opened up and re uh, review let's get this one open this is kind of tight this is all gonna you're gonna see that um some of these packages here well let me show you uh, instead of telling you i'm just gonna go ahead and show you i think this one might have uh, several of them um and we will do a comparison too that way you can see like why i still like my basics <laughs> Uh, someone had posted a comment the other day like hero face. Why do you like basics man? And you're you're gonna find out man This guy even included a couple of cards uh, Figurecollection.com. Yeah, this came from eBay. Like I said, this is an eBay seller. I don't know who that person is It's a manager sister. Oh, this is sister Sherry. This is uh, uh what was it? Uh, Harlem heat, right? The manager there is Vader and that's really all about it So let's get these ones open this one right here. This is actually this might have been my second figure my second bone crunching figure. Um, I think the first one had to have been Kane. I don't think Kane is in, in, in this video, but here's uh, Psycho Sid. We're gonna have to angle this up so you guys can see what's going on. There is Sid Vicious with that crazy look. <laughs> see, this is what I'm saying. And I'll do a quick scale comparison. These were only about four, maybe five inches tall. Here's like your standard uh, six inch, well, I guess they're more like seven inch figures for Mattel. So there it is. It's about a good couple of inches uh, short, or it's about an inch shorter than what Mattel's putting out. The other figures that we got in this unboxing, we got Man Khan. Prior to him becoming corporate, this is when uh, he started, when he first kind of made his debut in WWE, he got that signature brown attire, and I'm telling you the detail on these, it ain't there. At least not what, at least not what Mattel is doing. This is kind of why I still like my basics. <laughs> you see how the uh, the scans right there? They didn't do any face print. They didn't do any scanning. They just molded it on and you know crossed their fingers, hope, hoping that they uh, captured the figure. And this is why they call it bone crunching. When you bend the knee. Do you hear that? It's got like a little clicking sound. So all of the joints do that. I think also the arms. Yeah, the arms also do that. This is actually in pretty good shape. For these figures being 20, I think like 20 years old, these are in pretty good shape. Here's the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels. I met your boy toy. Here's the boy toy. The boyhood dream has finally come back in Hero Figs figure form. <laughs> Oh man, this was kind of loose, but the paint detail, yeah, this is actually really clean. Here's an old Michaels, and this is what I kind what I mean. Like they went ahead and just sculpted that head, and they're like, man, I really hope that this one ends up coming out looking like Michaels. <laughs> the chest hair, you can actually see chest hair on this one. There's no shading on the actual hair itself. Right there on the back, it says Heartbreak Kid, and you cannot have HBK without one of his good trusty buddies. X-Pac. Here is X-Pac in his street attire. Looks like part of his glass. Yeah, it looks like some of it is fading. So he's a he's a one-eyed patch pirate going. I'm like, ah. <laughs> yeah, he's pretty scary, dude. I don't know. Uh, so now that we got these out of the way, so we got four right here. Um, this one, 
I'm just gonna rip this one open. Not gonna, not gonna waste your guys' time. I wanna show you guys what all is going. Oh, this is the man. This is the one that kind of revolutionized the sport. The man that got the Attitude Era started. And I think just by saying that, I think that basically sums this up as to who is inside this package. Here is the Stone Cold Mr. Steve Austin 316. Now, I think this was his very first bone crunching figure. Um, this one, I can't tell you how many figure matches this man participated in the early days of Hero Figs playing days. <laughs> oh man, again, not much to the actual attire. The only thing that we're seeing right there is on the boots themselves. You got like a star this next one i think this next one is actually might is it this one i think it might be the next one i think this one might be it um if you guys saw that basic that metal basic figure that i just showed you i think we have this one in bone crunching form and i'm almost 100 percent. it is it is this is the same one that we saw in the SummerSlam heritage edition here's triple h we'll put them back here do a quick comparison the one thing that i will say about this one <coughs> excuse me as opposed to this one is the accuracy on the actual gloss of the tights themselves. But the jacks, they actually captured that pretty well. This is more of like a flat purple, but the scan right here, come on, this one has it by a mile. So it's the attire for this one for sure, but definitely the scan on the Mattel. So there it is. There is Triple H. This was the Triple H. This was the figure. The figure that I would use to, you know, bring back, well, what was it? Uh, DX, yes. And this last one, we do have, actually we have a couple of, uh, we have two left. We have this one, uh, this one is packaged, this one is still mock, and I might keep this one mock, because the one thing that kind of comes to mind, and yeah, we're gonna have to move this ring out of the side real quick. The one thing that comes to mind when I see this one is like me showing up at Walmart and kind of asking my parents like, mom, dad, can I please, please let me get this one. <laughs> this one right here, oh my goodness, this is so awesome. So we gotta move this cage real quick. I don't wanna break the rest of the hinges. I still wanna connect it. Uh, at least I hope it connects. I don't think it does. At least that's kind of what the description said. But again, this one right here, I definitely would like, it is rough and I, you know, regardless of it being rough, this just kind of, oh, telling you, this is like me pulling up at Walmart and running to the toy aisle. That was the very first thing that I did. And I was like, Mom, Dad, I'm going to go to the toy. All right, you go check out them figgies, man. <laughs> there it is. There's some of the other uh, teams in this one was, uh, it looks like Bradshaw and uh, Wyndham, as well as the Thrashers and uh, the Godwins, the Headbangers. <laughs> And then I, the referee, I don't think I ever did get the referee. I think I made a custom. I remember making a custom referee, and I remember making the entrance stage. The fact that I got that playset, man, I, I was shocked. My parents never let me get uh, um, the playset. So it was nice to finally have the ring. You know what? Come to think of it, now that I actually really, now that everything does kind of start, now that I'm looking at these and it's bringing back some of the memories, come to think of it, you guys, I think a lot of these figures that I did have when I was a kid, yeah, my parents actually could not afford them. Uh, I, I'm going to tell you this for a quick story real quick. A lot of uh, these figures, they couldn't afford them. They were cheap, too. They were like about five bucks, but it was basically a one-man team for my parents. Uh, so actually, I, what I did, and I wasn't old enough to actually have a nine-to-five, I actually, what one thing I did is uh, I went around the neighborhood and I asked people if I could mow their lawns. That's basically how I was able to purchase a lot of my figures when I was a kid. Here is the Undertaker. There is the dead man in his, oh man, this is so cool. I remember marking out when I saw this because of the tattoos, anything prior to this. I mean, the tattoos, they're semi-accurate. I mean, not really. There's a lot of paint missing, but some of the actual outline work that you're seeing with this taker. I remember marking out, man, seeing this at the store. I was like, finally, we got an Undertaker with tattoos. Comes with a couple of accessories too. Um, looks like he's coming with a shovel. The, you know, favorite accessory piece for Mr. Cena. <laughs> and we got a fire extinguisher. This carded image of the dead man. This is so cool. Yeah, I'm definitely keeping these two mock for sure. The one, oh, this one. I wish I had, I don't have this one. I do remember having this Mankind as well as that Stone Cold with those accessories. Telling you, these accessories were awesome. The They even have like this old breakaway. So this is the overall haul, you guys. And I told you, as I promised in the beginning of the video, if you are still watching the video. <laughs> uh oh, here's the rest of the cage. See, there it is, man. There's, oh, this is going to go into the graveyard. I'm going to, I was going to launch these. We're definitely going to launch these. We're going to put this right here and let's see how far he flies. I don't want to do it to this Triple H because it looks like the paint is fading pretty bad. We'll do it to Xbox because we got to do a repaint on him anyways. So we're going to put out uh, X, X pac right here. We're going to have to pull this back some. That way you guys can see actually how far this thing will go. Check this out. Let's back it up and I'm going to show you the launching ability of these, uh, 
uh, of these catapults. So I'd say this is probably, um, I think it'll probably go to that third line, maybe even fourth line. Let's, let's give it a good hit, that way we can find out exactly how far this thing launches. So, there, no, no, I definitely remember, him. hold on, I think you gotta put it towards the end. Because I think most of the weight is, there you go, here it comes. Yep, no, I'm gonna end up breaking the catapult before he goes anywhere. <laughs> there we go, we'll do it again. Oh, so it, does, it, it doesn't go that far forward, but it definitely does get some good height. I think it probably went up, I don't know, a solid good foot. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel, and we'll see you on the next one.